Hi there guys, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about the rune level or soul level PvP metacap in Elden Ring and what my position on that whole debate is. Right now the community seems to be pretty split between 125 and 150. Uh, some people are advocating for something between that, something like 135 or 140. Um, and I just wanted to say my take on it um, because uh, personally, when you kind of look at the new caps in Elden Ring and you compare them to the caps in uh, Dark Souls, Demon Souls, the older games, uh, I personally think that 125 is, uh, I would say, obviously too low and really hurts build diversity because it pushes people towards pure builds exclusively because you just end up with so much more in the way of stats at, at soul level 125. And I, I think I can show you what I mean by this. Um, and I'll also be kind of talking about some of Ouroboros' arguments, you know, for why he pushes for 125. Um, I personally think some of those points don't make sense, but we'll get to that. Uh, so for starters, originally in Demon Souls, uh, it was around 120, and this developed because, you know, it was a smaller community at the time. And eventually Elden Ring will get there, right? So it's still relevant in Elden Ring because eventually, you know, years from now, the community is going to go down. It's going to become smaller and things like that. But um, in Demon Souls... Could basically hit the relevant soft caps, have some more points to play around with, and it was fine. Dark Souls, um, which I've got over here, for example, you can see that, uh, you know, let's say I'm doing a pure strength build or something. You can hit the cap for health, cap for endurance, and this is 66 actually beyond where the soft cap is for strength, but you just have so many leftover points, you know assuming 125 or 120, that you can go all the way up to 66. So when you two-hand, it turns to 99. And you can see we're at 120 right here. Um, you cannot do this in Elden Ring. It does not work that way. Um, it's really an entirely different beast. I think people are attached to this, this specific 125 number because of legacy in large part. And I think especially when the game first launched and you know the wikis didn't have all of the stat caps and things like that up yet, um, people did 125 because it's just what we've always done. But uh, I don't think it makes sense for this game, and we'll talk about why. So the caps for health and endurance are a little bit weird in Elden Ring. Um, you really have a soft cap, a mid cap, and a hard cap now. So what I mean by that is uh, when you are going up till 40, um, you start out kind of in the 20s mainly, and then the last the last stretch you get are in the 40s. So it's you're getting a big chunk. So 40 is, def is you know, it's your, your soft cap, but the game clearly expects you to go beyond this because in the late game, you know, Fire Giant, and some of the late game bosses. I mean, they they will they will certainly two shot you at this point. And uh, I would say there's a mid cap, kind of somewhere around, you know, the fifty to fifty five mark, and then uh, you know it hard caps at sixty. But um, I I definitely don't think you need you know to go all the way to sixty because you know is it really the biggest difference in the world moving from fifty nine to sixty and getting thirteen hit points? And eh, probably not unless you're stacking health talismans and things like that with you, but you, you probably definitely want to hit the 50 to 55 range if you can. It's a very, very significant amount of health past uh, past 40. Um, and then endurance is also a little bit weird. I would actually say the you know initial soft cap for endurance is at 24 because you're coming off of two plus twos to the endurance stat and you're getting the maximum equipment load for those two levels. Once you go to 25, you're still getting the max equipment load, but you only, you're ending on one point of endurance, which isn't really ideal. 30 is a really good stopping point. And I imagine it's where a lot of people will kind of target for um, PvP because you're still getting really good endurance gains. You're ending on a plus two, plus two. Weight kind of goes down after 25 then starts ticking up again at that point. So I think ideally 30 points is what you want. And th these entries are actually wrong where it says plus one, plus two, plus one, plus two. After 30, it actually goes one, 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 two. So up to that point, you're getting one, two, two, one, two, two. And then it goes one, 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 two. So it drops really hard in terms of endurance after that, though the weight goes up so you kind of have an initial soft cap at 24 25 is it is an okay-ish stopping point if you're just concerned with weight 30 is a great stopping point i imagine that's what most people go for i'd say that's kind of the around the mid cap really um but it's worth it to go all the way to 50 because you keep getting endurance you keep getting a lot of weight um so if you're doing purely you know all the way that far which i don't think you need to you'd actually be looking at something like this you know, for like a pure build, but I don't think most people, I don't think you need to go that far necessarily. It's a more gradual curve. I think you could do something like, you know, something like this. And if you're really pushed, like if you're doing soul level 125, 
you know, you could do something like, you know, this even, and, you know, you can, you can make it work. You can buy yourself a few more points, you know, in a pure build with something like middle sense prosthetic. And then you've got a little, little bit more to, to work around with things like that. Um, so I think specifically for pure builds, uh, you can make those work at 125. You're going to have to make some compromises. You know, you're still not going to be able to hit the caps for all three stats. Um, and, uh, you know, again, th this was never true in prior Souls games. So you, we can look, you could build characters over here. We have so many extra points left over that you can actually push beyond them. Um, and you've kind of got some more to work with. And uh, you still have to make you know, trade-offs, you know, you couldn't do everything in Dark Souls 1, but my point here is the caps are a totally different beast, and it makes no sense to use the Legacy Holdover. Um, or Boros made some comments about, okay, well, damage is too high um, in the game, and that's why levels should be lower. But this argument doesn't make sense to me, because one, your, your defenses are tied to level, right? So if you let people go to 150, let's say, instead of 125, they're going to have meaningfully more defenses, and you're going to have a lot more points to throw at Vigor. Um, they've also since patched the game, uh, where you know weapon arts do way less damage now. Things like that. They've adjusted some of the dominant weapons, dual buildings from Prot Town, things like that. So, um, you know, maybe that argument was more true at the time. Uh, I don't really buy it personally. Um, but uh, you know, this whole argument is less for pure builds, though. I, I do think it's relevant that. You know, in the olden days of pure build, you could reach all the caps and push beyond them because you had so many extra points to play around with, you know. But uh, in Elden Ring, if you were to, you know, and again, we don't we don't have to go to 50 because that's a long way. But you can see that, you know, even for a pure build, you're ended up at a way higher level. But if you do something more considered, you know, you still end up above 125. Um, and if you want to use talisman slots, then you can you could bring that down and get closer. But uh, Think about the ramifications for 125 for non-pure builds. The, the reason this hurts build diversity is because you are pushing people to just do pure builds because you end up with way more total, you know, total stats for what is relevant to what you're doing. Um, you know, if you want to put mind in here, like let's say you stop at 42, because 42 is a bit of an interesting stopping point because it goes down to 26 and back up to 27, and then it starts dropping after that again. So, you know, uh, you could kind of drop this to 24, you could do 19. And then let's say you want to make like a Moonvale build or something. So you you aim for the mid caps, right? You still end up at 135 with the most efficient class possible, you know? So this just makes no sense to me why, you know, why we're doing this, like why we're doing 125. Because if you want to do, and again, th these are just mid caps for intelligence and dexterity where we're we're at mid caps for all of these. We don't even have you know a ton of mind though. I I say nineteen because, um, you know nineteen ends up being a reasonably decent place just because you you uh, get bumped up to a six for the first time that it goes down again. But um, you know even a build like this you end up at one thirty five. And most of the YouTube videos and things like that that I've seen where people are running, you know, these mage hybrid builds, they're usually at 140 or 150, something in that range. Um, and uh, I don't know, I, I don't think when, when you start actually looking at the old games and how you could build characters there, 125 made a lot of sense for those games. Um, you still had to make considered trades, but, you know, people were generally ending the game around that level. And uh, you, you weren't pushing people so hard where, you know, that's the other thing, if for most players, if you stop at 125, the end game is going to be very hard. Um, because I definitely think towards the tail end, they, there is an expectation that you're going to have a certain amount of health and uh, things of that nature. So I'm not saying, you know, I'm not even saying we have to go all the way to one, 150, you know, but uh, certainly something like 135, 140. Um, and 135 is an interesting number because you end up being able to match with both groups. You know, in the matchmaking algorithm, you can hit 125 and 150 players. Um, the problem with it, though, is for the discords that run tournaments, a lot of them still do 125, so you would be excluded for that. There's no way to de-level a character, which kind of bothers me personally. I wish there was. So you're kind of just screwed, and you have to make a new character. And, you know, there there is a way to back up your save, but I think it's all-encompassing for all your characters and things like that. So it takes a lot of time to build these things. And, um, you know, one of the things I know Fighting Cowboy talked about was how the general player base is going to be 
excluded from a lot of things, or maybe it was I could be missing off, uh, messing them up. But I know Fighting Cowboy was more pushing for 150. But um, they talked about how most of your kind of casual player base, they're going to be ending the game well above 125. So unless they make an entirely new character, they, they certainly can't participate in those kinds of tournaments and things like that. But um, I don't know. I just think when you crunch the numbers, when you look at the curves, um, you're, you're hurting build diversity, not helping it by setting the cap so low because you're pushing people towards pure builds or you know things where they can maximize their their health and endurance, and uh, anytime you need to remind it in the mix, it, it gets it gets pretty tough. Uh, so that's my position on it. Personally, I, I think people are attached to that that specific number more because of legacy and because when the game started up, you know, people just carried it over, maybe assuming the caps are the same. But uh, I don't think it makes sense for Elden Ring, and I think I, I personally think. You know, a lot of people said, oh, well, there needs to be two metas. There's the duelist meta and the other. I, I don't agree with that. I think the duelists are wrong and they need to adjust their position in this case. Um, and if they don't, they're going to end up excluding a lot of people and they're going to make PvE harder. And it's just, it doesn't make sense to me with the caps. And if the whole point is to transpose, you know, the rationale and the reasoning for the old game you know, onto the new one and say, okay, well, 125 and Dark Souls 1, what was, what does that mean in Elden Ring? It's, it must be higher than this, uh, than, you know, 125. And, uh, you know, again, I, I actually think ideally you'd want to at least be, you know, more in the, the 52 or 50 health, you know, 30 endurance range, if you can manage it. Um, so, you know, I, I'm all for, I think it's really fun to plan out characters. I think it's really fun to, you know, decide in advance what talismans you're going to use and, uh, you know what? What's the most efficient starting class, and what weapon do you want to use, and all that stuff? I, I have a lot of fun with that. Um, but I had a lot of fun with that before, where we had more stats to play around with. And if you actually go to most, you know, whether they're like Reddit polls or what, what the general community thinks, most of the general community actually seems to vote for a, a higher cap, more more towards 150. Um, but you just, you know, I think you just have some very vocal members of the community that are pushing really hard for 125, and that's fine. You know, I'm sure that tournaments will keep being held there. But, um, you know, I, I do think what we really need is we just need people with a platform who are into the PvP to, you know, hash it out, set a value, put it on the wiki. Because uh, I think having the split values, people don't really know what to build around. They don't know what to target. And you have to err on the side of lower rather than higher because you can't de-level the characters. But, um I, I urge you mess around with the character optimizers, look at the curves, you know, on the wiki and things like that. And uh, I expect most people will come to the conclusion rather naturally that uh, 125 does not work anymore for Elden Ring. Um, but anyway, thanks for your time. Have a good one. Bye, guys.